Leo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, beautiful soul, you are denying your gifts. You are denying your ability to connect to the spirit realm and move forward with your life. Whatever ideas and guidance you are receiving, you are dismissing it. And beautiful soul, the spirits want you to know that if you open up your heart to this journey yet again, we feel like you've already been on this journey, open up your heart yet again and just trust in what comes through. Trust, you know what? Don't even say it's you. Like whatever's coming through in my awareness that I feel kind of compelled and curious about, this is not coming from me. This is not me. This is my angels. This is my spirit guides. I must understand this, right? When the, you understand this, then what happens is it's easier for us to say yes to a journey because we understand it's not us, right? And when we practice honing in our ability to hear the spirits and to see the spirits, which we all have this ability and we all have this gift. This is our sixth sense. It's just a practice by, you know, consistently staying intentional with your meditation practices and having the attention to open up conversation and open up uh, the layers, right? Plant medicine helps, by the way, just saying. Um, so you can practice this. And then when we do hear voices or guidance and something becomes in our awareness, it's much easier for us to re remember oh yeah, this isn't me. This is my spirit team. You can even hear them sometimes as different energies. That's usually what happens for me or they show up and then you can just feel that it's, it's a different presence than yourself. All right. And then when that happens, we're, we feel more trusting in what comes through. So here we have the world card in reverse, just the insinuation that there is a resistance towards moving forward for this next chapter. Your intuition with the high priest itself has been communicating with you, giving you downloads. However, again, we feel like this particular new skill that you're being guided into learning or this new focus you're being guided into learning is being dismissed. Maybe you're feeling not worthy or doubtful in your abilities. Maybe you're not feeling as, you know, confident in, in, in your knowledge as of this point, but the spirits want to remind you that it's one foot in front of the other. And all it takes every day is to be consistent in your daily connection practice to the higher realms, to the spirit realms. That way you will no longer get lost in your limiting beliefs because you are more connected to the energetic frequency of love and to the divine. And when you are connected to the energy of love and divine, your heart opens and you experience new opportunities. It's just about remaining consistent. It's just about trusting in the process. Whatever you tell yourself, there's another truth as well. This and that are true. Dolphin spirit brings this message because dolphin is a mammal swimming in the sea. So even though it's a mammal, dolphin's a mammal, it it's it has, you know, the ability to breathe underwater. Pretty cool, I would say. Actually, I don't know if they breathe underwater as much as they hold their breath. I should look into that, but you probably know. So at the end of the day, whatever you're feeding yourself might not, it's not the only way. So don't close your heart off. Remember, be curious, not closed off. My favorite mantra, be curious. I am curious. I am not closed off. Maybe we don't even want to say that. We want to point it always in the right direction, right? Because wherever your focus goes, energy is going to flow. So I am curious. My heart is open. Thank you for guiding me, spirit. Something along those lines would probably be great. Remember, the beginning of a journey, super exciting because we receive all these downloads and we know exactly what spirit's telling us. We understand. But then, then comes the in-between phase where we're not really as connected, it almost seems like. We almost feel like we lost our powers at times. We almost feel like we lost our ability to connect. We feel like we're here alone. We know we got to do things, but we're scared. We're hesitant. We're not staying consistent. That lack of consistency with what we know we're asked to do leaves us feeling shame and guilt. And then we behave in ways off of that shame and guilt, overeating, staying up late, you know, watching stuff that is harmful for our awareness and these kinds of things. And then it builds and it builds, right? And so we just want you to know that if as all you do is stay consistent in a meditation connection practice, you will always be on track. Well, we don't want to say that. We do want to say that actually. If you are consistent in your meditation practice, you will always be on track. What I also want to say is because you're a Leo is that if you also have a movement practice, compare, uh, 
alongside your meditation practice, you'll be clearing your energy and you will be connected, right? I like to wake up in the morning and just get it done. That way I don't mistrust myself. The reason why I wake up and I train and I don't train long, 15 minutes, five minute warm up, five minute cool down, 15 minute total. It's only what, like 30 minutes max, right? And it is all body weight and you just wake up and you get it done. You, you can find free on YouTube and you just get it done first thing in the morning. Why? Because you faced adversity. And when you face adversity, you continuously go with the flow because you started your day facing adversity. You started your day doing something challenging. And then after your quick little movement practice, you get a quick meditation in, maybe write in a journal what came through for you and boom, there you have it. Your higher self connection routine. And then the rest of the day flows. And we can see right here, because of your resistance to your ideas, your day is not flowing. Is that hangman in reverse? If anything, think Things are on pause. And when things are on pause, you feel a lack of inspiration. You feel a lack of passion towards creating. Well, what happens when our inspiration goes out? Our hopes go down. We feel hopeless. We're not ready to imagine things and create our future. We're stuck in the what is. We're stuck in the right now. And when we're stuck in the what now with the right, the, the where we are and the what is, we end up ref reflecting on the past. Well, if I had just done this, if I had done this differently, if I had stayed here, if I hadn't said that thing, but that's not reality, is it? Reality is what's happening right now and what you have the ability to overcome and conquer. And you have this incredible lion strength within you. So don't kid yourself. You're not fooling anybody over here, Leo. Nice try. You're not fooling anybody. So you have this amazing gift and it's the power of connection. Use it because it will absolutely be the saving grace every single time for you to move forward and conquer this human experience the way that you want to without fear, without hesitation and without doubt. So have a non-negotiable higher connection routine that you gift yourself, that you practice every single day and you don't neglect this so that you can continuously see the love in all situations because love is all around for you. However, if you're not practicing daily connection with yourself, you will be blinded by the fear. You will be blinded by the darkness. It is a, it is a, it is a natural reaction because it's what we have grown up with. How many of us grew up in a house that were guided by angels, instructed by our parents to look into our hearts for our answers, to focus on the love or the glass half full? How many? I know I wasn't, even though my mother was a deeply sensitive empath and so was my father and both the most amazing beings, but they were plagued by their human experience, by their human programming, right? Every, but most people live their lives from their human programming. We can bypass this, but it does take consistent practice and awareness on our behalfs. When we are living lives from the perspective of our higher soul self, our life becomes evolutionary. We become the, we become, we learn the experiences we came here to learn. So you don't have to worry about writing that book or making that website or starting that business. All you have to concern yourself with is the daily consistency of connecting to your body through daily movement practice and connecting to your soul through silencing the mind. And if you bang this off first thing in the morning, how accomplished would you feel for the rest of your day? If, if what we're ch trying to achieve here is a feeling of satisfaction, how satisfied would you feel for the rest of your day knowing that you'd connected to yourself intentionally and you remain consistent with it even on those mornings you don't want to wake up and do it. Even in those on those days where life feels extra hard, you do it anyway because that is what connects you to you and that moment of that time of consistency helps us helps us and let spirit know we are ready to ascend. And that's what we want you to understand is that spirit is waiting for you to be connected and to be ready. That's it. And all you have to do to be connected and ready is to take your power back by doing that thing that is a, a, a moment of adversity, a challenge for you, right? And the intention to connect. And that's what it's about. So before you start your day, you know what you gotta do? Focus on that and the rest is history. That's all that's missing right now. Angel's message, perfect timing, baby. Now is the perfect time for you to act on your inspirations Everything is ready for you to be successful, Leo, everything. And all that's necessary for you right now is just to have that consistent practice where you connect to your higher self. Everything is available for you. We are all connected by our thoughts. And what that means is anytime you need an answer, you have it. But again, if we are not intentionally looking to seek the solution, instead we're just fixated on the fear and trying to fix things, we're not going to be really evolving, ascending, and on our spiritual journey. And that feeling feels very wrong for us. So you've got this. Everything is working out best case scenario. It, the, the real practice is to stay consistent in that in between things don't seem like they're evolving. 
I don't really feel good today kind of a moment. It doesn't matter. You wake up and you stay consistent with the practices that connect you to you so that you remain in the flow of spirit and you let spirit know, hey, I'm here participating, even though I know that even though I'm not seeing my, you know, necessarily manifestations in the physical world yet, I understand how this game works and I will remain consistent and diligent in the practices that leave me feeling like I am moving forward. And that's it. And that's all that's waiting. And then everything else will feel absolutely incredible for you. Right now, get that higher self routine dialed in. Stay consistent with it. Trust in that process. Even in those dark moments where you think, I don't want to do it today. I'm tired today. My body's sore. I feel like I'm hurting myself. This doesn't seem right. I should be, if I'm loving myself, why am I doing this to myself? You're going to go through all the thoughts. It doesn't matter. You let those thoughts, you breathe into them, you see them, you feel them, you release them, and you do it anyway. You stay consistent with it because that's that consistency where we really start to see the results. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.